All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And it is a weird 18.3 degrees in the Chicago region. Yes, it is. And we got nailed by uh, by snow. One day we had no snow, and the next day we have like uh, eight inches. And we we got, um, we were spared because everything to the south of us, south of Illinois, or southern Illinois and south got nailed. So yeah, there's a fox on a pole. Nice. Just to real quickly, um, let's see if I can do this. Wow. I am a professional. So, how's everybody doing out there? Very cool. I'm trying to do nine things at once here. So, what is, real quickly, what is Mind Test? Well, Mind Test is an open source voxel game. Yeah. And it can be played on almost everything, including a toaster. Anything that <laughs> runs an operating system, it, it, it appears here. So they came out with a new version, 5.50, and I'm running it. Well, not right now, but I have run it, and um, there's some, there's a few glitches for me, but uh, it looks pretty cool. So if you're running Linux, which I am, everything right now is still at uh, 5.4.1. So at least I know my world works in it. Yeah. But the main thing about this, um, about Mind Test, and it's, uh, I believe it's older than Minecraft. Uh, not by much. But if you go to the, like, wikis. So, the main appeal, with Minecraft, you play their game. With Mind Test, you build your game. Because you only get the, the, the standard engine, the game engine, and you get the mind test world. And then you go and add different mods. And there's some really cool ones here. Um, I'm going to have to make another video. Adds craftable super cub plane. Looks pretty cool. Nice and blocky styles. Nice building. So you add your, uh, you add your mods. You can add different games. Mine Clone 2 is really cool. Um, then you have your mods. And you can add as many or as little as you want. You could add your animals. You could add uh, the mobs. And just by going through and picking what, what one wants. So, and, and we're not getting into the argument of which is better. Minecraft or Mind Test. Both are exceptional games. There's a reason why Minecraft has been the number one game all these years. It's very good. However, with Minecraft, you play the way that the developers want the story. You know, the ultimate goal is to get the Ender Dragon. With Mind Test, you build your own story. And it's 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 really cool that I can go in and Let's see, go to programming. See, I, I compile my own versions. There's mine test five point or five five oh five four one. Oh yeah. I did use the map, however, there's a lot of things that didn't it just showed up as outlines on there. So I I will look at that at a different time. These are all my texture packs. I get a, I get a bunch of questions on um, how I do my texture packs. Well, what I do is I pick different, I pick and blend. So my texture pack is a conglomeration of uh, Vanessa E's HDX packs and my own graphic, my own textures and uh, Polyguyana. And I mix them all together uh, to suit what I want to, what I want to build. Now, 
I've also created my own mods, the R block mods, because I was playing with Blender and I was playing with GIMP and everything else. And you, you could see here the different woods and stuff that I've put in. It's really that simple. These, I, these blocks here I created off of GIMP, off of noise, and it, it generated these patterns, which is, which is really cool. If you go to properties, they are 128 by 128. The higher the pixels, so if I had these at 256, uh, they would, uh, and I do have a lot of 256 um, graphics mixed in. These, this is 32 pixels. Uh, the bigger the graphic, the um, more resources that it's going to do. That's 128. I generally stay about 128 unless there's something I really need uh, to be high. And that's 128. Um, that I really need to be high resolution. So I, I'm very sparingly using... Uh, 256 and these are my block my uh, baked my version of baked clay I didn't want to go all the way back out uh, let's see and creating a mod is not that hard these are some wallpapers that I did for different things this is 256 I use it very sparingly and this is another one that I like but that's how I do it uh, these are all 256 and the texture pack is available on um, the world download. So you can get that there. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Cool. So I've changed nothing. Another turtle. I've changed nothing over here, but I made the uh, heliport prettier. I don't even know if that's a word. Using more lights and... Because the only way to get here is you hike or um, you got to take a helicopter. Of course you do. So let's go take a look at the finished cabin. I added some lighting. It's real nice. Health and safety. And because uh, this is a very... Very dangerous area. There's a panda just chilling with a fox. And then we come over to the house. Nothing on the outside. I left it alone. I'm experimenting with some... Um, yes, some vines. Let me turn on debug. So, uh, like that block right there is uh, wall stone. That I created, I got it off of a um, a free graphics site. Let's go in here. Loud. Oh, I'm Mr. Doggy. And Simbicon had said that the uh, this looks like a bug. No, hey, don't turn your back on me, turtle. It's a turtle. You can see it. It's got. What are you doing, Mr. Turtle? Oh, I haven't tamed it yet. I forget. It keeps turning its back on me. I can't, I can't remember what. Um, what is that out there? Oh, it's a horse. So one of the things I noticed on 5.5 .5 is that when I came into this world and I, I booted it up, here's my campfire. I can't remember who uh, wrote this. I I don't, I'm not even going to guess. I'd have to look at it. But this is a really cool campfire that one has to feed. Feed me, Seymour, by throwing um, sticks in there. And it's really cool. I really love the graphics. There's also a... Um, there's also... A little rack that you put on the metal grill... For, uh, grilling and cooking which is nice so yeah uh, I think it's in my mods used but here's the angle glass and one of the things I noticed that when I was in the 5.5 world I came in and I said oh there's my fire but when I came over here I looked the fire was gone 
the 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 campfire was still here, but the fire was gone. So something on how this block does the uh, graphic completely blocked it out. Now there's other things um, like the glass. The glass will show. Um, it won't show the water. I don't think that's on this one. No, it's not on this one. Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Let's look. This this video is not going to be um, anything specific. Mostly just talking and stuff. I do want to do little building. So. Let's see if I can, I can make it. Um, do what I want here. Now it's showing, oh, you see the glitching over here? On how some graphics will do that. Or they won't show water at all. And I believe that's something with the graphics and the, uh, and the game engine. Which, one of the things that they did is they, they forked the rendering engine. And I can't pronounce it. It's Illrich or something like that. And it, so they, they forked the version, which I believe that's why this, you can't see the fire when looking through the angled glass. So I, I have to play with that. Hi, how you doing? You got some haters up. Relax. Yeah. So I like that turtle. That turtle's cool. That's from the pets collection. But I cannot remember what um what the turtle eats. Right clicking ain't working. Right clicking works on that one. Uh maybe fish? I don't know. No, turtle ain't gonna eat fish. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe. As you hear my keyboard. I know it doesn't eat frogs. Doesn't eat cupcakes. That's what the dog eats. I cannot remember. Maybe if, real quickly, if I generate the turtle... Let us see what happens if I generate the turtle. No, he doesn't. Uh... Yeah, that wasn't humane. Now, was it? Let's see if... No, you don't like fish. Because the dog... The dog likes the bone, but the turtle doesn't eat fish. Okay. So what... Does the turtle eat? You know, I could go to the website and everything else and find it out. Or go into the, um, I know it doesn't eat chicken. Maybe it does eat raw chicken. I don't know. Maybe that's raw duck. Huh. Maybe it eats a tarantula. It doesn't eat bees, eggs. I don't know, I'm wasting time. Yes, I am. So it's in there somewhere. Let's see if it eats chicken. Nope, it doesn't eat chicken either. So that's not... Um, it's got to be something water-related. And I used to know what it was. I don't know. Let's throw a parrot out here. So... Hmm. I don't know. If anybody knows, put it in there. Put it in the uh, roasted chicken. Doesn't eat roasted chicken. It doesn't eat papyrus. I don't think it's not gonna. It's not gonna eat papyrus. Now, it's something. Let's put the birdie here. Hi, Mr. Bird. You rock. There he is. See now. He, um, doesn't need, I'm trying to do, again, two things at once. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Um, uh, all right. 
Let's go view the rest of this house. So this is done. We got our vineage. We got our cool campfire. It's the central heating. You come downstairs here. And this is what I came up with. Not too original, but it's nice. It's a modern camps or it's a modern cabin. Got a little living room going on. Some cool decorations. Turn the TV off. And then you got your kitchen. Of course you do. Nice coffee. And we have a wine cabinet. I can still hear that dog. And these cabinets are real easy. Especially when you, you build it into something that there's nothing underneath it. There's nothing behind it. So you can see how the cabinet... It looks like a cabinet. I do that trick for stereo equipment and stuff like that to build a stereo cabinet. But we have this. We have it, and then we have a bathroom. How do you get the the bathroom to go into? Uh, yeah, you, there's a lot of things that you have to take in imagination. This is a cabin out in the middle of nowhere, but yet it has plumbing. Nice. But, you know, yeah. And here's the bedroom. Bedroom's pretty cool. I like this window. The window to the world. This is a small bedroom. Got a little wardrobe here. Yeah. So, that's the new cabin. Some picturage. It's just a nice place. Hi, Mr. Bird. It's just a nice place to hang out. And get away from it all. So let us look at where I'm going to put this new house. We're going to fly around. I got this stuff here. I got to get rid of the uh, snow. And what I've been finding is, here's this house. What I've been finding is that it's really cool just to fly around. I've had this world going for four years. Some real nice houses. We can go visit the uh, pirate ship. As everything loads in, there's Mr. Pirate Ship. And there's Mr. Good Ship. And the Bamboo Forest. And the castle. Nice. One of the things is I don't jump on. That's cool. You know, I didn't take a... Uh, I didn't... Eh, I'll come back to it. I didn't take a screenshot. There's a panda in the middle of the ocean. And that gate goes all the way around. One thing that it, um, this world has been going for four years. And so every time a new version of the game comes out, there's always a chance that a mod is going to break or something's going to happen. And I've run into that a lot. So, you know, it, it, there's always got to be progress. But for right now, it does appear that um, my world will, will go up to 5.5. Uh, One of the things that I did notice is that when I put the world in there, the, uh, the 4.5.1 version of the world, it, this is a bad area, a lot of lag, it, um, in the... What is it called? The MT world world dot MT file, which is basically like a configuration file for the world. And what it did was, is it actually specified? It said game ID, and it said mine test five five of dot four dot one. So I had to remove that line and put in mine test five dot five dot zero. I think that's the syntax that was used, and um. Then it's then the game recognized it, so I'm gonna have to play with that some more. So because what's gonna happen is anybody on Windows will get the 5.5 version when they go to the downloads page. Uh, Linux is lagging behind unless you compile your own, which is what I do. And the reason why I compile my own is so that the um, it's not affected by updates. So what we're going to do here is, this area is very strange. 
I kind of, I've boxed myself in. This is the last area to play with. Right, right there. I really don't want to play with it. But I need to extend the world. And as you can see, if I go straight, which I can, but it goes down, um, there'd be a lot of work and a lot of generation. I'd screw up a lot of area. But, you know, that's fine. So I wanted to put, there's a, it used to be TCF Bank, it's now Huntington. So I wanted to put that right here. And I've been asked in the past. See, I don't want to put it there. I like that. I like that area. I've everything I do is is based on a theme. So I'm kind of upset that <laughs> I boxed myself in. And I can't do nothing here because this is the nature center and it, it goes into the the restaurant. Back here is all borked up because we got this cool mall. And these are the, these were the colors that I wanted to use. If we got we have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. It's kind of an interesting building. Now I, I can't really put anything here because it goes into the wildlife. Um we have this building here, which is still partially finished. We have this area. This goes into the park. So we can't put anything there. That's kind of done. We got this huge um, retro building here. The downtown area is full. But we have over here, we have this building here. We do have this plot of land right here, even though it backs up against this building. And we got this cool nature area over here. I think here would be the logical choice. We could have a parking lot coming in. And then we can still preserve this. So let us look at this. I don't know. Now, the blocks that I wanted to use is another issue. So the building that they that I saw has two different brick. I don't have two different brick. Oh. Huh. That's one, that's a red brick. I do have, um, and it doesn't have to be. So we're, I'm just brainstorming right now. It doesn't have to, so that's the brick I'm looking for. And like I said, I create my, my own stuff. See, that's not going to look good. No. But what do we want? Ooh, we have stone bricks. That's kind of cool. And we have red bricks one. Hmm. Let's, let's take a look at this. So, so we have that. We have that. That. And that. That's too muted. That clashes too much. That works. This one and this one works. So what the building is, is the building has, um, you see, I don't want to use two different bricks. I want to use, get rid of some stuff here. I want to use, um, I could either go with wallstone, but I've used it a lot. I've used the grays. I need a, um, I wonder if that one, but I don't think I can cut that one. You know what? I 
like that. And I can cut it. Yes, I can. That combination looks good. And that goes with almost everything. That's out. That's a possibility. Hmm. So, let us see here. We have a lot of lag. This is going to be this is going to be a drive way. We can put this here. I'm going to have to build this building sort of backwards. Because I do want it to come up to the to the side here. Let's just do this. Seven, nine, ten. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go here. Because you know what? Why not? It would help if I would have counted that. So I'm just doing 15, 19, 20. I think we'll go 20, 21. I like to go that. So on the end here is going to be where it's got this kind of um, no, no rats. Bye. I think that'll work. I don't know. See, I shouldn't have done that. And then for this, we're going to stack this by 20. And just make it, um, boom. So you got a, you got a driveway that comes through here and then we can put some parking back here and still, um, preserve that. Nice. And I know I've been, I haven't used this block. I've used the other, the other blocks. So how this building works is we have, we need glass. And I got rid of that one. I still, I, I really do like this combination. So let us go with, I got to keep watching the time because I got to start getting ready for work. Black glass. So over here, five. This is, um, this area here, even though it comes out one, on the real building it comes out. So we're going to, we're going to do some. There's going to be a doorway there and a doorway there. But then what happens is up here, and I'm going to break from that. So we have one, two, and then three. And then this whole area here. See, this is, this is where... Hmm. 
And it goes all the way to there. We're going to do everything but five. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. So there, what, what this building had, and it's stuck out, so I'm going to have to do something there. And these go up four. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how So it's it's kind of strange because I'm kind of at a um I don't want to say in a rut but I'm in a rut. <laughs> so it's 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 strange because there's nothing that is really stood out to me. There's a, there's a couple buildings that I've seen in my area that I have interest in building. Like when I, when I did the waterfall house or falling water, that was interesting. So now we're going to, but this goes up eight. So one, two, three, one, two, three. This is actually going to go up. This is kind of this weird. Um, you know what? I don't want to do that yet. Because it's not. It actually comes out. See, now that's going to add into there. Let's see how this is going to look. No, that's not... That doesn't look good at all. I can still get, I can still get the effect. So what it did is it came out here. And this goes up higher than the roof. We're going to stack this by eight. Actually, let's go 10. Boom. And this whole thing was glass. I wonder how I'm going to pull that off. I don't know if I'm going to make this two stories or one. So this is like a little vestibule. And then this one up. And then this continued. So... But you see, I have no, um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I don't like connected textures. Everybody knows that. But this, this is how I, I, I'm going to cure my connected texture. See, that looks cool. So what we're going to do is, And take that out. We're gonna put that over here for now. Go in here, and we want that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a reason to be. There we go. And this is how the building, now nah, that, that looks, this is how the, you see, I can hide that though. Ooh. Watch 
watch this. Nice. And this is why I meant by it, the the facade had two different bricks. I like that. I think that will work. But you see, in the real building, this came out. So I'm gonna I might have to um move this building back five and then come out. That's an idea too, because I have enough space on both sides. I can fill that in. It's just meant to be a small business. And even though it's going to clash with this building here, I think it's going to add, it's going to add to this area before it goes into the wilderness. So let us, because this needs to come out and it needs to connect. So let us brainstorm this by doing that. So we're going to do one, two. We're going to move it back by three. So we're going to move by five. Boom. Five. And then we're going to move it... <laughs> the, the thing that popped into my head was uh, the, the island of Madagascar. We, the uh, uh, the ringtail. We got to move it, move it. We got to. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> See, now I've totally changed how that looks. No, really? And we're going to, we're going to, um, so the idea here is we're going to give this um, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter because I kind of uh Okay. I know what I want. I want that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 that's cool, that's cool. Because this needs to be, um, there's a bear in my, my store. It's not a store, it's a bank. Ooh, what the heck did I just do? Wasn't watching what I was doing. So basically, this is what this is what that bank looked like. And I'm gonna try to find a picture of it. So we need that. We need that. If we come off of here. I don't like that at all. However. If I do that, oh, no, 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 don't, there we go, one, two, three, there we go, that's what we want, yes, we do, so, one, two, three, and then four, this goes here, 
and that's going to um, alleviate our problem with connected textures. Then, we have this kind of foyer glass area, which will look a lot better when it is um, put up. <sighs> and the cool thing is, um, so we want We want waffle fries. I don't know. I can't think. We want this to go up. One, two. So we want this to go up eight. And then we will call it a day. We're going to go ten just because let's see how well I did. All right. So... You see, it needs to, I think I need to go another five in each direction. This is going to be the lobby, goes in, and this is that. I have to fix that. So I'm, th I'm thinking that... This should also be two stories. It needs to go five in each direction and then that. So that's where we're going to leave it. So that's, we know we need to go five and then, oof, oof. <laughs> we need to go one. There we go. think that will what are you looking at what are you looking at I ooh. Ooh. now you, I had that there we go so that is what that's the game plan and then I can put I can just put some windows there or just leave it I know I'm running around I think that's going to be a cool looking building. And that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see, the problem is. That's an awful lot of glass area. But I like it. I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to play with this. So this is the first floor. I think I am going to put a second floor separated by a block such as um, we're going to make kind of we're going to use kind of this type deal. Why didn't it go in there? There it is. That took a long time. And what I mean by that is something like this we're going to do, we're going to put a, like a line that's going to go up. I don't mind this connected texture that much, but we'll do this around the entire building to give it some, um, some character. And then e it will come out even here, but this is only going to be on the first floor and this is going to be extended. So the glass on the first floor will be extended and this might change too because, because yeah, Everything kind of needs to be um, extended out. That looks pretty cool. That even looked cool. Why is... Why 
did that do that? Okay. So we we have our um we have our base kind of deal here. Oh, that's why. Duh. Hmm. It's going to be one of those days I can feel it. I just, I have a, this day, I don't know. Okay, there we go. So this is the base, this is the base of our building. It's going to be two stories. Uh, I, I, I think it needs to be two stories, even though it's either that or I cut that down by five. But I'm, I'm thinking two stories to match everything else. So inside the city, they like to throw buildings here. And it still preserves the, the wildlife aspect and goes from there. So that is going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I might as well take a, a screenshot of this just because. I don't know. I don't like that. Hmm. Thumbnails. Go figure. You know what? That'll work for a thumbnail. I guess. I don't know. Where did it drop me? Nice. So that... Ouch. So that's going to do it for today. Just a bunch of building and talking and nonsense. Come back over here because this is my favorite area. And, um, yeah, go from there. So thank you very much for joining. And I will leave you with this view of, of the island and the new house. Go from there. So uh, until next video, goodbye.